guys, I just like applied it in a second and it just to the left. Stan. Good. Good. Yeah, Thank nice you. to see you again. Good to see you, man. So you're the owner of EcoTube I in Scotland, indeed. yeah? Yes, sir. So you come down in your 991 Turbo? Turbo S, yeah. Two? Yep. What are these, around 580 out of the box? It's supposed to be 580 at the engine, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You downloaded it at? About 550, 560 when we first, when we first measured it. Okay. It's condition dependent, so, mm -hmm. you know, we weren't, you know, there was nothing to, to be alarmed about yeah. there. So do you want to just go over your company before we mention the car, like what it is you specialise in? EcoTune. Yeah. Um, we're 11 years old, uh, between 8 and 10 staff, depending on how busy it is throughout the year. Yeah. Um, we specialise in calibration development mainly, uh, and also distribution of calibration services to various businesses throughout the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we also uh, have a fully functioning workshop with full dealer level facilities, um, and uh, an online web store. Okay. So it's grown into something, it started as a hobby, mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of by accident, organically grew into something a little right. bigger. We represent APR in Scotland, so we are the, the master distributor for APR calibrations and hardware in, in, in Scotland. For any product that APR doesn't cover on the VAG range, yeah. uh, and we have our entire range of BMW calibrations that we do ourselves. Okay. We're, we're also, we also work in uh, Mercedes to a limited extent, uh, mm -hmm. but gen typically our, our target market is Porsche, Volkswagen Audi Group, and uh, and BMW. All right, so Stan, onto the Porsche. Yes. Uh, so this is running your software. Do you yes. want to go over the mods actually? Sure, done yeah. Um, when we first got the car, uh, we the first thing that we did was we contacted uh, the Akrapovic uh, mm -hmm. importer in the UK. Uh, we distribute the Akrapovic exhaust in, in Scotland mm -hmm. uh, and asked kindly that we could get one shipped as quickly as we could. So the very first thing we did was the Akrapovic exhaust system right. from the turbos to the tailpipes and then uh, straight on the dyno. Uh, yep, myself and Andrew that work in the calibrations department um, set about tuning the car and I was really delighted when I initially read the ECU to see that the new Gen 2 um, engine management system was very, very similar in fact to uh, Golf R. Um, okay. So a Mark 7 Golf R uses a Siemens ECU as well and it mm. was a very similar architecture so we were, it made it kind of, not easy but mm. it, it helped us along the way to sort of get a a big jump in to get where we wanted to be. We, we didn't spend a great deal of time on it initially, maybe a couple of days. We got a base calibration on it and it was running about 650 horsepower. Okay. Uh, then we ordered some parts. So we got uh, the intercoolers from uh, Wagner. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the IPD plenum to help with the flow into the inlets and the Eventuri intake right. uh, system. Yeah, which for me, you can't see it, you go get the bumper. You can't yeah. see it, you can't yeah. see it. And I wish you could because yeah. it is, an absolute work of art. Mm -hmm. Once we put all the bits on, we got back in the dyno, spent a bit more time. Mm -hmm. uh, we ended up with 780 crank. Mm -hmm. So we consider that to be like a stage two calibration. Wow, that's some power. Yeah, it's good, it's good. We put some 110 run race fuel in it for fun and added some ignition time and a wee bit of fuel trims and uh, found ourselves with about 725 wow. horsepower with uh, the race gas. And the, what are we running today? Today we're running 680. Okay. So I run yeah. 680 you know, daily, 99 yeah. run, perfectly uh, reliable calibration. We've had this car out on track. Uh, it's been slaying it. It's been doing really, really well. Uh, nine second quarter mile. Um, so out of the box, isn't it? Like you, like you say, you've basically just put some bolt on parts, obviously a custom flash. Yep. And uh, yeah, these cars will religiously, will faultlessly uh, put the power down and probably have no issues as well. Uh, well, the, I certainly have not had any uh, mechanical problems with the car whatsoever. Um, Traction off of the line is a challenge okay. uh, on stock tyres. I mean, we have tried. Well, you've got Cup 2s on today. We've got Cup 2s today, <laughs> so traction will be a challenge. Yeah. In warm weather, when the tyres are hot, it sticks to the road like nothing you've ever experienced. Yeah. Um, but for drag racing, we do put a set of radials on the back yeah. uh, so that we can uh, we can actually get the front wheels to lift off the ground in a launch. Okay. And uh, what is the power distribution? You, do you know what it is? Is it like more? It's rear about eighty percent to, to the rear. It does have a clever system. It tells you actually on the dashboard just how power much split. how much split it's given. So yeah. if it's losing a lot of traction at the front, it will uh, 
So these okay. kind of sinnies, they can jump to the side, can't they, on a launch? Like on a launch, it, like on a launch, it will like. turn you around if uh, mm. if you're not careful. Anything done to the chassis, like braking, suspension, Literally any other? Completely standard. Do you have plans to do any more to the car, like because these cars are so good, it's I like know. you don't have to do I much. Do you? Well, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I mean a- APR are currently working on a full range of Porsche products um, okay. and, and calibrations. Um, and of course I've got every confidence in my ability to do a terrific job but I'm equally curious because I've got such a great relationship with APR yeah. to try out uh, you know, their offerings as well so mm. we'll probably hang on to the car to see how that goes um, and there is a potential that maybe we put some big turbos on there yeah. whether it might be just a step too far um, for the purists I don't know You know, I think uh, maybe mm. maybe when it comes to that point it might be time to, to, to get something else maybe I'll go with what what, what the customers want, what, they want yeah. what do they want to see, you know? Well, I just went out in one of your customers' cars and um, I was saying to him, like, I don't know if I said it on camera, but I look at this like, where where are the RS3 guys going to go after they finish with the RS3? I think that this could be the next step. Okay, they're a lot of money, like sure. a Gen 2 mm-hmm. especially, but you can get a pre-gen for like 70, 75, yep. mm-hmm. you know, if you get mm-hmm. a non-turbo S, sure. uh, you know, they'd probably get them even cheaper. Yeah, I dare you know? say so, that if you've got a, tur- a, a Gen 1 turbo and put some hybrids and intercoolers on it, you yeah. can probably for you know significantly less have a very 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 fast car yeah. you know, the handling in these is i mean I, i've driven a lot of fast cars i get the opportunity to drive a lot of fast cars yeah. um and the one thing about this car that impressed me more than anything else was its ability to go around corners right was, uh, okay really yeah. very very special once it was warm yeah. well they say that this was uh, well they don't say this was actually quicker than the gt3 on track so this is like the uh, you know the GT3s are meant to be their handling specials, you know what I mean? And and uh, this was putting in faster lap times on track, which yeah, I think is amazing. Absolutely, like. the fact that it's got all the creature comforts: your heated seats, your leather, your Alcantara roof, mm. and you know your heated steering wheel. Yeah. Um, but it's still an absolute um, beast on the road. It's fantastic. So. Yeah. Okay, shall we jump out this time? Sure. Yeah, let's do Well, the, pl- the plan was to put the car away from the winter. Got you down from Scotland. Got me down. Lovely. Scotland. Thank you, man, as well for coming yeah, down. My pleasure. Porsche Turbo. This is uh, it's the car, isn't it? Jeez. And what are they? Three point six twin turbos, aren't they? Three point eight. Three point eight. Sorry. And, uh, yeah, and that's the difference. You got that uh, more displacement, ain't you? So the power feels thicker, doesn't they? They've got, like, they've, got they've got slightly bigger turbos than the Gen One. Um, okay. Yeah. Slightly different injection system. Marshall Max. Max from MMR. Free plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll call you back, mate. As I was saying, it's like a natural upgrade, wouldn't it? Oh, sorry, would I say this is like the dream car for most people that own an R3? It was certainly a dream car for me. And I came from an Audi RS6. I uh, sold that car. I used my transporter van, which I loved. Yeah. I crew in some funds in the hope that maybe something would come up within my range. This one came up and the price was right, I called the guy, I went down and seen it and then that. And what are these worth? They must be around, like, what, this one, 2016 must be what, 1, 110, 120? Yeah, about 120,000 I would think. Yeah. Um, when we purchased it, it was sort of in the 140s, so okay, we've geez. had it nearly two years now. Noise wise, there's not much noise, is there? Any? No, I mean, the, like, the, 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 uh, there's a lot of leather, a lot of padding, I use the car pretty much every day. Why keep it for someone else to enjoy it later on? 100%. Should we try and launch? Sure. I mean, is it? Is Let's it see it, what it, happens. <laughs> see, we're trying to launch with uh, Michelin Cup Tuzo. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> How responsive are those turbos, oh, man? Oh, it responds like a any 
Yeah, and yeah. It responds like, and I mean, you literally you've got to be careful on the throttle because yeah. well, you, you yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah, jerk, you know, a bit jerk, it yeah. can chop me a little bit. As I say, there's no uh, sound as we're driving, but no. there is a distinct all solo sound. When I hear them go past, when I'm like, you know, on the road, they sound like airplanes, man. They're just cutting through the air. Feathered the throttle okay. to see more leaves actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it like then? Because as I say, like I've been in a non S and I exited a roundabout and I'm not gonna lie, it was greasy even that day. Mm -hmm. But I just got on the power and it just went sideways on me. Oh yeah. So like do you drive this with that subconsciously in your head, like oh, knowing it can kick to, out on to, you? To be honest, um in, on a day like today, you really can you have to really respect the car. For starters, if you break it, it's expensive to fix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but additionally, I suppose if you could get them with the right tyres. Guys, we're about to take off. <laughs> ET. Some ET stuff. Wow. That was good for the wet. Yeah, but you see how when it engages into second, it's like it grips, doesn't it? It just. It works hard to. Powers forward, man. Yeah. I mean, that's launching with traction control on. You just couldn't do it with it off. The turbos must be kicking in like, like immediately, isn't yeah, it? What, about what, 1500 two, RPM. Man, look at that steering wheel. Wow. Heating's on. Oh, you've got heat steering wheel, yeah? <laughs> oh, guys, man. Why trust not, me. eh? Why not? Oh, look at that, man. This is a proper, like, it feels more like a luxurious, yeah. like, kind of wheel, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, like them old wooden star wheels. It's quite active lip, hasn't it? It's got active. So, so it creates so, more downforce, yeah. or? The, uh, the lip comes down at the front, the spoiler comes up at the rear. Wow, the way that it turns, man. And you say it's got a four wheel steer, right? It has the, the rear wheels of a small amount of steering input. That gear shift is instant. <laughs> like, that's another level to the RS3. Like, even uh, the one that had the uh, gearbox software. Like, this is just, yep. it's I mean, instant. That, that's stock. You know, that's, that's stock. That's core stock. <laughs> the gearbox <laughs> stock. Yeah, so you've got dual clutch. Yep. Like, this is, yeah, this is a proper dual clutch PDK, isn't it? Yep. Wow, guys, like, like instant. Like, as soon as you down gear, it is. There's no two ways about it. It goes down. No bullshit. Bam, gone. Whoa, was that the Eva Trees? Yeah. Fuck yeah, that sounded sick. It's class. <laughs> that was like a whistle, wasn't it? If you, if you go for a go for a drive in a summer's day with the sunroof open, it's sick. Do these pop and bang from factory as yes. well? Or they do? I, I have activated it in the Sport Plus mode as well. Yeah. So normally in Sport Plus it's not active, I just I decided I wanted to switch it on. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, yeah, they're being maturities. <laughs> I just like applied it in second and it just to the left. Yeah, like you say, you definitely gotta respect the car, man. Yeah, four wheel drive, like, nah, it don't matter. Nah, it doesn't. But the thing is, four wheel drive and the Audis are different. Yeah. Because this car does send power, so much power to the rear, there is the odd moment you can catch this car off guard, yeah. like the GTRs. You can catch them off guard and you can crash them pretty easy. Whereas the Audis are usually a little more front BIOS, they don't send it to the rear sure. as much. Yeah, the newer Audis obviously are becoming more rear BIOS, don't they, than ever before. Uh, so yeah, you can actually get them out as well. But even like the pre-gen RS3, they were just understeered. The Audis certainly feel an awful lot safer, I think. Yeah, definitely. Fourth gear. You got a hybrid this though, Stan. Come on. Are you actually map yourself? Yes. So is that your is that why you started Eco Tune? Because you're like into Well, it was a hobby. I was doing it for friends. Um, and it really did accidentally develop into a business. We ended up with rolling road days and then the demand for tuning was higher. Took on my first staff member and it just it grew arms and legs. Yes, Performance. What are they? Carbon ceramics as well. Carbon ceramics, yeah. And as soon as you let off the throttle, it's off. Like, no bullshit. Like, some of the big type of golf R's I go out in, um, the power stays on a little bit sometimes when you come off the throttle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this just lets go, doesn't it? Okay, 
this then. I think we'll end the video there, man. Um, thank you for Great coming pleasure. down. Do you want to plug your location where people can find you? Any social media? Sure. We're based in Hillington Industrial Estate, Glasgow. Um, you can get us on uh, our Instagram, which is Ecotune UK, and you'll find Ecotune on Facebook just by typing in there. So, uh, cool. Thanks very much for. No, no, no worries, man. I'm sure that can be another time soon. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll leave all these links in the description. But as always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.